Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ashley. I am a fitness and nutrition coach and certified life coach. Today is day four of the work hard, praise hard, walk for 30 challenge. Today's question comes from Kay Cinematic. She is a new subscriber, so welcome to the Fitness Fits You community. She wants to address three different topics today, which I think are really good. One is about decluttering, which is kind of like the mindset. Two is moving as far as just fitness and getting moving, period. And then three is staying motivated. So on the first topic, far as decluttering your mind, you want to start releasing things that you no longer have control of or you never had control of so if it's people on the job if it's family members if it's relationships we cannot control people we cannot control situations that occur so a lot of times we preoccupy our mind with things that we don't even have control of i want you to start giving yourself permission releasing yourself from situations and people who are not pushing you towards your goals who's not pushing you towards your spiritual relationship with god who's not pushing you towards you know business and family if they are withdrawing from your emotional bank they have to go and you don't have to be nasty about it you don't have to block or anything it may come to that but that's not something you just you just want to have a conversation with them or just to yourself and start to distance yourself because they're withdrawing from your your emotional bank. You may want to declutter physically far as your home, your car, your closet, all of that. When you go home to a cluttery home, cups, things are everywhere. Things are all out of place. You got a deodorant in the living room. You got the kids shoes in the kitchen. You got bowls in the bedroom that clutters your mind. It doesn't set your environment or your home in a peaceful place. You don't even want to be there because it's so much stuff. It's so much clutter. How can you think? How can you feel peacefully when you have so much going on around you? So if, it, if you haven't used it in the past three months, throw it away. Throw it away. Go on and hit the like button because I know you didn't like that. But throw it away. If you have not used it in the past three months, throw it away. Okay? Same thing with your car. If you have shoes, toys, fast food cups, you know, you, you have a... And I say shoes because I've seen cars with at least five or six pairs of shoes. And I understand... We want to change our shoes out to flats and heels and things like that. But your trunk is not a closet for your shoes. Your car is not a trash can for trash. Traylon has a to-do thing in my car. So anytime we eat in the car or bring things in the car, it has to go out at the next stop. So if we ate snacks or whatever, the wrapper, the next stop we make, not wait until we get home, because when we get home, we just want to jump out the car and go in the house. Not waiting. If we stop at a gas station, if we stop at a store, we're going to take all the trash out right then and there and put it in the trash. And then you're going to get your car clean by yourself or to a detailing company at least once a month. At least once a month. That is decluttering. The second thing Kay wanted to address was moving. I see a lot of statuses on Facebook in the fitness in some of the fitness Facebook groups. People are just simply saying they're lazy and they know they're lazy. And that's because they've become complacent in lazy. Lazy has become 
uncomfortable. Get moving is uncomfortable. It's time consuming. I have to find a workout outfit that's cute to where I don't have that. So I don't want to go to the gym and work out. It's too hot outside. It's too cold outside to walk. You have become comfortable and lazy. But you have all these goals, you have all these dreams, you have all these visions, but you're not going to move forward if you don't get moving. So I, you, you guys know I like a structure plan. Make a plan what day you're going to work out or walk or go to that dance aerobic class or go to that resistant training hip hop class. Make a schedule of when you're going to work out. Be prepared to go. Have your workout clothes readily prepared to be packed and ready the night before to go. So there is no excuses to get moving and show up. Because guess what? The devil wants you to stay lazy. So guess what he's going to have? He's going to have your kids to while out in school that day. He's going to have the people on the job act a fool and aggravate you. He's going to increase cravings. Everything is going to come up when you plan to do something positive for yourself. So already be prepared when you see like, okay, these folks acting a fool today. You know what? Today's going to be a good day. Something, my blessing is coming because something is always trying to get in the way when I'm trying to do something positive for myself. So you have to get moving. You have to have a structured plan. You have to be prepared and you have to show up and you have to start doing things that you like. If you don't like going into the gym, that's okay. You can do YouTube videos at home. There are several workout programs that you can download and purchase. I love yoga at home. Not a big fan of going to the gym to do yoga you know, or um, going to a facility to do yoga. I just love doing yoga in my home with some candles lit and some soft music or normally the yoga instructor have something with her soft, calm and relaxing voice. And I like to do that at home. Find what works for you. If you are a swimmer, if you are a bike rider, be prepared to do that fun activity so that you make sure that you show up so that you're moving because one thing about being lazy one thing about not moving time flies super fast you will look up and it'll be next year's summer and you'll realize not only did i not lose any weight i'm still in the same spot you wasted 365 days because you're lazy don't be lazy please don't be lazy if you haven't subscribed by now go ahead and subscribe go ahead and so you'll be able to catch and hit the notification bell when you when you know um, when i upload a video so the last thing she wanted to discuss was staying motivated i think this is so awesome because we get motivated you know we see a good message we uh we heard that somebody got a birthday party coming up and it's in two months so you got plenty of time to lose a good 10 15 pounds so we get motivated for that we get excited we got our new gallon of water with the lines on it telling you 7 8 9 p.m you you got your out your workout new workout set those things are motivation but when it sets in place when you got your workout outfit when you're two weeks into your new nutrition program, when you two weeks into your fitness program, it's going to grow boring. In a sense, like this is redundant. I wake up every morning, I work out, I drink my water, I eat my meal preps. I wake up every morning, I work out, I drink my water, I eat my meal preps. It becomes redundant so guess what you cannot always rely on motivation it's great my company's motto is motivation to movement because that's what typically get us moving which is awesome because we want you to be moving but discipline consistency is what's gonna keep you going knowing that after the dress and after the party 
and after whatever you're going doing that got you motivated, you still got to keep this weight off. You still got to keep going. So motivation is great. Tap in, find something that gets you excited. I always like to have um, a outside reason outside of fitness that keeps me going. I always think about my great grandchildren. I want to be there for their kindergarten play. I want to, and I don't want to be in a wheelchair either. I want to be one of them grandmas like, dang, grandma look good and healthy, and she still can outwalk you. She still got a little tone in her arms. I want to be a, a sexy grandma. You know what I mean? That keeps me motivated. My great grandchildren. My son is nine. So I'm not going to have any grandchildren anytime soon. And sure, not going to have any great grand anytime soon. But they keep me motivated in fitness. They want me to, they keep me motivated in being healthy and well. Because my grandmother was nine months shy of meeting two of her great grandchildren, her grandchildren, great grandchildren. Nine months shy. Them grandchildren would have put so much life back into her. She would have loved each and every inch of their body. Then my sister had another baby that looks just like her. And she missed out on that. And I think about that all the time. I don't want to miss out on my lookalike, y'all. I do not want to miss out on my lookalike. So it's nothing wrong with getting motivated, but discipline is going to keep you going. If you made it this far in the video, you have walked for 10 minutes and I'm excited for you. Um, you guys will probably see me in some videos with the same thing on because I'm going to pre-record some videos so I can enjoy my family weekend. I hope you enjoyed this message. Kay, thank you again for asking a question. If you guys have a question or want me to just cover something in general, please comment below. And always remember, fitness fits you.